What's up everybody, welcome back to the life of a board gamer, my name is Daniel and last time we did this list, it was a week ago, uh, but to me it was just like a few seconds to press stop and then start again to film the second part of this trilogy of the videos, because trilogies are popular. And yeah, so thank you all for coming back, today we are continuing our uh, naming games by letters, the alphabet list, however I decided to call it, and my eyes is itching me like crazy so yeah uh, thank you <laughs> that yeah sounded really weird so thank you for uh, coming back and uh, let's continue our uh, what what list how uh, alphabet list let's continue our alphabet list And last time we were at the I so we are starting with the J and J is reserved for the one of the most interesting racing games that I ever played called Jamaica. You are basically racing around the island of Jamaica and you are uh, trying to steal from other ships. Uh, you are trying to loot them and in the meantime you are also upgrading your ship and you are trying to loot these boxes for items, all kinds of different stuff. There is a great expansion uh, that, that was released really like a year maybe, I think maybe a year, two years ago. Uh, that incorporates you can have crew on your ship and that crew can give you some awesome awesome abilities so Jamaica is an awesome awesome racing game uh, it goes really quickly uh, it is fun it is uh, the cards how you pick uh, what you wanna how you wanna move and the dice everything works super nice so Jamaica is my pick for the letter J K is for Kingsburg First edition, second edition, I personally have the second edition, but uh, that second edition uh, is way worse in the artwork than the first edition. First edition looks way, 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 way better. So it is how it is. We cannot do nothing much. We can do nothing much about it. We have what we have. I like second edition because you get all the expansions and everything already incorporated in it. So that's really cool. And you get some new stuff, but they could really did so much better on the artwork. I don't know why they chose some of that artwork that they did. Either way, the game is awesome, awesome worker placement, but your workers are your dice and you are trying to influence different people on the court, uh, from the king, queen to the fool, and they will give you all some kinds of some types of resources that you will try and build buildings in your kingdom and you will fight monsters, you will uh, do all kinds of different things. And it, it is really, really cool game because everybody will roll dice simultaneously and then one by one you will decide which number you want to influence because once you influence that number, nobody else can go on that space. And it is really interesting to see, okay, now you see other people like, oh my god, I need, I need number 5, but I first need like to play 14 because you roll multiple dice, you need to add a few of them together. So if I go on a 14, I will probably have no dice for far. It's just combinating and, and uh, as the people are choosing which characters they want to influence, you can see which dice they have, you can block them even, uh, you can make some hate pick moves, which are fine, which is cool, this game is really not m about that, it's really just about getting your stuff, but if in a process maybe you can get some of that stuff and maybe hurt someone else, why not? So Kingsburg is really nice dice rolling worker placement game, so definitely check that one out. Kingsburg. Second edition, first edition, whichever edition you want. L is for love. Actually, it's for love letter and a specific one, Batman. Love letter, Batman. It sounds stupid, it sounded stupid when I heard it, but I like Batman, so I decided that I want to have that version of the game. It has a little, few, few little one or two little differences from the base game but basically they are the same game if you know how to play one you will know how to play the other one and uh, that is the game that i played so much i play it now rarely but i think it's a great game if you are trying to lure somebody in a hobby this game of hidden roles is really nicely done it works well once you learn all all the characters how they work and everything and uh, the batman one it just drew me because it's the batman and uh, even my niece, who was uh, at that time, she was like six or seven year old, she learned how to play the game just by watching us playing the game. Since she, she, did, know, she did not know the English, 
very well but she learned which number does what and she just played like looking for okay so it's number five it does this and she would like play number five because she knows what the number five does and uh, yeah she had some few tells so i always knew when she had the joker and stuff like that but either way it was uh, super fun playing with the little kids playing with adults can be very competitive this game at least at my gaming uh, crew we have uh, people that I, I have a specific group of people that I love playing Love Letter with because it's most of the time our games end up that all of us have the same amount of uh, points and we are just fighting for that one last point and whoever wins it is the winner of the game. In Batman it's a little bit harder but in a regular Love Letter it's super easy to do that to make it like so. It doesn't happen always but when it does it is awesome. So yeah that is uh, Love Letter Batman. Max vs. Minions, a game produced by Riot Games, the same guys that did uh, League of Legends, you probably heard about League of Legends. So they created the game that has very little with League of Legends, except that these boring characters and the uh, enemies from that game. And you are basically in a, in a school, you are trying to learn how to control your mech, and you are doing that by selecting cards. All of you cards will be put on a table, and you have a set amount of time to uh, talk to each other. And decide which player want to take which card and you can upgrade those cards so you can do all kinds of different uh, stuff uh, lots of them are random stuff with your max and you are trying to pass through these missions it is sort of legacy style game in a sense that you have a campaign that you are unlocking uh, new stuff constantly but at the end of the game you will have everything unlocked and you can just play your regular game of max versus minions just pick the scenario and go through it and yeah, it, it is a phenomenal game, really nicely produced, lots of great components for not so much money. It is expensive game, but it is not that expensive because what it offers to you, how many miniatures is in there and all that. So yeah, Max vs. Minions is my M pick of the year. Neuroshima Hex. 3.0 is a game that I really rarely play, but when I play it, I absolutely adore it. I just love how that game works. It is so easy, straightforward game. You just pick out some, you just pick some tiles, those hexagonal tiles. You put them on a board, you activate them, you kill each other, and uh, whoever manages to put uh, others command center to zero or completely or, or have less life points at the end of the game he's the loser you're the winner it, it is a straightforward super easy game there's lots of expansion for it i was even toying with the idea to play it with uh, slaven that you occasionally see doing top 10 lists with me on this channel so i thought of but about series of games where we will pit one against another in a in a battle of uh, wits so to say in Neuroshima Hex and see who will float up as the winner, as the master of Neuroshima Hex. So yeah, it is it is great, great game. I think it works best it works best with two players. You can play it up to four, but I think it works best in three play in two players. Sorry, not three in two players, because it's really hard to focus when there's more enemies on the board and all that. But yeah. Definitely check it out. It has lots of cool, cool expansion for that game. Each expansion is a new type of units uh, that you can pit against other units. It's just awesome. Neuroshima Hex. Check it out. O is for Orleans. Orleans is um, one of those games that, uh, like Galaxy Tracker, when I saw uh, a cover of the box, I was like, oh, no, thank you, thank you, but no. And uh, yeah, then I played it, I had an opportunity to play it, and I was just blown by it, how it works. It is, in essence, a bag builder, where you are uh, pulling chips out of the bag. These are your workers, and they have, depending which worker it is, it has few spaces that it can go to, and you can then uh, create other workers. With those workers, you can put them in a bag, and then you will shuffle your bag, put out new workers, and you are, you are doing this for, I don't know which amount of rounds, eight, ten rounds or so, and uh, there is a board that you can travel on, collect uh, resources there, or you can completely focus uh, on the board where you will send your people to glory 
or something like that. There's some cool expansions with this game, some awesome, awesome expansions with this game. And yeah, but in essence, it is really the best bag builder I ever played Orleans. Letter P is uh, for uh, Pulsar 2849, if I'm not mistaken, wait, Pulsar 2849, yeah, it's right over there, the game. So, Pulsar 28, uh, <laughs> 2849, I will just call it Pulsar. So, the Pulsar is a game where you are, have your ship and you are flying around the board and there are some things you can activate uh, and there's some dice that you will pick and uh, depending where you pick the die you will go left or right you will get some minus or plus points uh, that game I think I never reviewed because I don't know how to explain how the game works just in a quick few notes uh, I really like it but I just don't know how to explain the game I can teach you the game but I don't know how to explain it, how the game works but if you like mathy games that have like a little bit of math in them because you can minimax uh, minima, minimax minimax every move if you want to and count how many points will you get and all that but it really isn't worth it because other players will be super annoyed they will be like oh come on man play already but yeah pulsar 2849 you are flying around uh, this stellar system with your ship you're activating pulsars you are colonizing planets you are getting points left and right there are some boards where with special abilities that you can activate. It just works wonders. Definitely check it out. Pulsar, that number 2849, if I'm not mistaken. And the last one in this uh, second video of Alphabet List is uh, reserved for letter Q. And that is one of my dearest uh, city building games called Quadropolis. Quadropolis is uh, wonderful, wonderfully looking from the artwork point. A uh, wonderful looking game. Artwork is so, so nice. I think I have every promo that exists for that game. I hunt them down all. It was a difficult task, but I managed. And uh, I mean, I probably don't have all, all, but I have most of it, I think. I, I think I overdo it, overdid it when I said I had them all. But I have most of them. So Quadropolis is really nice city building game. It is super easy, straightforward game. You will pick your worker. There's this board with the tiles that you can choose from, depending which worker you have. You will pick tile that number away from the edge of the board and you will block some uh, other buildings for other people and stuff like that. It is beautiful, beautiful uh, city building game. I think one of the best, if not the best, I don't know, I don't know, I should have, I should be doing a top 10 city building games, then we would see if it's the best. So yeah, Quadropolis is uh, last on this list. And when I say last on this list, I mean just this list, the second list. There is a third part coming up. If you want to see it early, check out my Patreon. If you don't want to see it early, if you don't want to wait for it, that's totally fine. I will not be mad at you. It is how it is. And yeah, thank you all for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for spending time with me. Uh, see you for me. It will be a few seconds, but for you, it will be might even a week. Who knows? And see you in a third part of this uh, list when we are going to finish with the letters and see what other games are the best that are starting with those letters. This is uh, complicated. Until next time. Pozdrav. Sometimes they hit, hit really good with the artwork, sometimes they completely miss it with it and it is how it is, we can do not, we cannot do nothing much about it. L is for love. Ex Max versus Minions. Completely... Uh, completely what? Reminds me that I need to finish that game. We still didn't finish all the, all of the, all of these, uh, the, the the campaign story mode. We didn't finish it, and uh, produced by produced by.